Hey guys, it's your old pal Alice Cooper. Uh, basically, uh, this is spooktacular. So you're gonna be seeing a bunch of horror movies that have a Halloween theme to it. Uh, look for it all this month. <laughs> Halloween 2. Made three years after Halloween. Uh, this one is, of course, again directed by. Uh, this one is actually taken over by Rick Rosenthal. Uh, produced by John Carpenter. And is written by John Carpenter again. It stars Jeb Lee Carter and Donald Pleasance. Reprising their roles from the original movie. Like I mentioned that this one actually is not a big success as the first one. The first one actually pulled in 70 million at the box office. This one pulled in a mere 25.5. So, incidentally, that's not anywhere near as good as the first. So, well, what can I tell you? Okay, so let's go ahead and delve into the plot. That is Halloween 2. This is, of course, from 1981. So, anyway, uh, after being attacked by Michael Myers who vanished after six shots and falling from a second-story balcony on October 31st, 1978. Three years earlier, Laurie Strode is rushed to a Haddonville Memorial Hospital, while Dr. Lou, Dr. Sam Loomis uh, resumes searching for Michael. Michael's recent escape and attack uh, becomes a news story as he steals a kitchen knife from an elderly couple's house. And kills the teenage teenage neighbor, and the body count has started. <laughs> he finds out that Laurie is at the hospital via the radio, conveniently. Paramedic Jimmy Lloyd, uh, famous for movies such as uh, Last Starfire, you know we know him, starts to develop romantic feelings for Laurie, much to the chagrin of head nurse Virginia Avils. Once Michael arrives at the hospital, he cuts the phone lines, disables the cars, and kills most of the hospital personnel. While searching for Laurie, who is trying to hide from Michael, Jimmy finds Mrs. Alves' corpse and tries to flee. Uh, but it slips in a pool of blood on the floor and loses consciousness. Throughout the night, Loomis still sees a uh, teenager wearing a mask similar to Michael's walking in the streets. He mistakes him for Michael and attempts to shoot him when an oncoming police car rams into a van while, which explodes accidentally killing him. Sheriff Lee Brackett, anger with Loomis for his daughter Annie's death at Michael's hands, defects from the manhunt. Loomis goes to examine the teenager's burnt body and discovers that he has actually been Tramer. Incidentally, that's the woman, for, that's the guy that was supposed to be the uh, Long Avengers for the first movie. So there you go. Very brief cameo. <laughs> Following an uh, uproar at the Michael's house, Loomis investigates an elementary school that uh, Michael broke into when the, his colleague Marion Chambers. And the marshal uh, arrive, transport Loomis's body. Uh, excuse me, Loomis back to the Smith's Cross Sanitarium on the governor's orders. Along the way, Marion informs Loomis that Laurie is at Michael's sister's, according to the previously hidden file on Michael, realizing that Laurie is in fact Michael's target. Uh, Loomis forces the marshal to turn around and drive to the hospital where she is. After finding Laurie in the hallway, nurse Jill uh, Franco is killed by the scapa-wielding Michael, who pursues Laurie through the hospital. Laurie is re uh, escapes to the uh, parking lot and hides in Jimmy's car. Regaining consciousness, Jimmy comes out of the hospital and goes into to the car to seek help, but falls unconscious again on the steering wheel horn, alerting Michael to their location. Loomis, Marion, and Marshall arrive just in time to save Laurie. 
As Marion attempts to contact the, uh, the police car from the car, Michael kills Marshall and chases uh, Loomis and Laurie into a surgery room. Michael stabs Loomis in the stomach, wounding him, before Laurie shoots Michael in the eyes with Loomis's gun, blinding him. Loomis and Laurie fill the room with ether and oxygen gas as a distraction. Loomis orders Laurie to run before he ignites the gas and blows up the surgery room with him and Michael inside. Emulating, basically, uh, um, emulating them both. Uh, Michael struggles out of the room, engulfing in flames, before he collapses and finally dies. The next morning, Laurie is put in the ambulance and driven to safety. And incidentally, um, Dr. Loomis survives. So, let's go ahead and, uh, well, so what can I tell you about this particular movie? It's not a very complex plot, but, uh, let me go ahead and mention this one scene where this, this, uh, this assistant nurse guy, uh, he basically has sex with this very, very, very attractive nurse who ends up going topless, and they have sex in, in, inside this 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 little uh, room in the water, and uh, she says that uh, th it's getting really hot, and uh, I mean really hot, and the freaking th she, M Michael he raises the water to well over two hundred degrees, I mean well over two hundred degrees, and uh, she gets, he basically you know boils her, uh, to the point where she has to get out, and he freaking kills her, and uh, incidentally. I want to go ahead and mention that because that's probably one of the one of the best scenes of the whole movie. Probably that is the best scene. Uh, I also want to mention that uh, there's this little personal nod to uh, another movie that's inside the TV room. I don't remember which one. I think it's Evil Dead. Not quite sure about that. All right. Well, uh, so what can I tell you about Halloween Two? Halloween 2 is an enjoyable movie and, is, and deserves a rating of popcorn, balls, and gum. Halloween 2 is a good movie to enjoy for Halloween. I recommend it. Uh, you should definitely uh, enjoy uh, pick it up uh, on Blu-ray. I think it's available for like 8 bucks. You can find it on TV right around Halloween. Uh, so anyway, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, share like of course watch some more videos hit thumbs up to support the channel uh, leave a comment below uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time